Hello, Internet. Welcome back to Night in the Woods. I'm about to go to sleep, I think. Bedtime? Um, actually, no. I want to check one quick thing. I can't look at the mirror right now. Never mind. I don't need to check anything. Let's go to bed. Are we going to have any more nightmare sequences this time? I hope not. But I also kind of hope so. We'll see, though. Oh, we are! Oh, we are. Oh, what is that? Oh, what is that supposed to symbolize? Okay, well, I'm going left because... Okay. That's generally not good. That's a house. I'm not a huge fan of this. Just symbolically. Ooh. Hello, sir? You, uh... You doing that for any... Particular reason? Can I go this way? No, it doesn't seem like it. Hello? Hello? Okay. While well, I unlocked the violin guy. Oh, and his music carries. I'm not sure what that means for me, though. Oh, God. Are we going to do platforming? Okay. There we go. That's our high jump. Don't think I forgot that, because I didn't. I can travel along these faster if I jump. That is an eclipse that is almost ready to go. I'm going to go this way. Because I don't follow the beaten path, I just follow wherever left is. Constellations? Wait, I saw a couple of those a few episodes ago. You can't fool me. Oh wait, why are we getting band members? Why do I have to unlock band members? Yeah, I saw that exact constellation, I think. Huh. Uh, that's a little ominous. Oh, and the light's changing now that the band's being unlocked. I don't know who these band members are. I saw that constellation too, didn't I? Okay. Well, I think this is going to be three of four if my calculations are correct. There's the third. And down here is the final. Oh, wait, that's a crocodile. I don't think it's B, but it is a crocodile. Now, I don't think there's anything left for me to get? Maybe? Unless there's something down here, which I'm missing. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that one freaking bit. Oh, wait, I have to go back here to where these four weird pillars were. Whoa. Um. I was not prepared for a horror experience this morning. That's a bear. He's filling my ears with noise. I fainted... I have withered away into the stars. That's creepy. That's creepy and very ominous game. Not a huge fan. Actually, I am a huge fan. But like, in terms of the story, in terms of meaning, that can't be a good sign. Let's just wake up. I feel like everything will be fixed once we just wake up and pretend like this never happened. Wake up, you lazy cat. Scratch your back. Go reach for your shoe. Here we are. Check your laptop. Why not? There might be someone who messaged you at 3 a.m. Maybe it's Greg. Oh, wait. We got new messages from both B and Greg. Morning. I'm working today. Angus is out of town and I'm lonely. Okay, bye. Sincerely, Gregory. Well, hey. I got sick from the mall food. It was not good mall food. I'm working today if you want to say hello. Yep. That's my life right there. Okay, so at least we're getting a notice. I think this is how this game generally is going to go from now on, maybe. Is we get to hang out with these characters. Now, one thing I have noticed is that Angus has been out of town. So, in Angus's case, I'm assuming we unlock his missions hangouts later. But for now, I can hang out with Greg and B. Let's go to the crawl space, see if Dad finally moved those boxes. He didn't move the boxes yet! Come on, Dad. Get with it. Get up to your responsibilities. And by responsibilities, I mean I asked you to do it, so please do it. Downstairs! No call from Mom this time? Huh. At least she's still here. Good morning. Did you feel it last night? Mm, what? There was a big sinkhole two streets over. Oh, are we still getting those? I don't think those ever really go away. Swampy ground and so forth, and on a floodplain. 
Oh, weird. I don't want you over there nosing around it. I guarantee you I won't. I have seen sinkholes. No interest at all? Mom, they're just holes in the ground. Get back to me when one, like, swallows a house or something. We'll go see together if that happens. Deal. So what did you do last night? Went to the mall with B. Oh, Fort Lucene. Yeah. I haven't been there in years. How is it? Kind of falling apart and empty. Yeah, I expect. Everyone just goes to the outlet stores up by the interstate now. For, you know, shoes and things. Well, stop by the church if you're in the area. Will do, Mom. See ya. Mm-hmm. Bye, sweetie. I think I changed the mom voice. I don't remember what her voice was before, but I think I changed it accidentally. Now that you've been home for a few days... Yeah? Have you thought about getting a jo- Well, gotta go, Mom! <laughs> Bye, sweetie. I have not thought about getting a job. I definitely haven't. No way, 100% no from me. Oh, it's raining today! That's actually kind of lovely. I love that. Can I go this way yet? Nope. I love the color palette, both when it's raining and foggy, and when it's not raining and not foggy. This game just has a lovely visual aesthetic overall, I think. Talk to the girl. Stop turning around. Talk to the girl. May Borowski. Selmers. Now, we all know how important it is to look our best. What? Our appearance is the first and sometimes last impression we make. Selmers, did you join a cult? Lucky for you, I happen to be a licensed dealer. Oh, okay. Of the Sylvam family of products. Selmers, I don't have any money. Oh, okay. Are you giving that pitch to everyone? Have you sold anything yet? Sold some to my mom. And to Abby Krangler. Miss Krangler's daughter? Granddaughter. I run into her at the laundromat over by the school. One time, Greg got locked inside one of the tumble dryers. Did he die? He wanted me to start it, but I chickened out. He definitely would have died. Tell him that. He's still mad. Want to hear a poem? Now maybe another time, or sure, we might add something to our journal. Sometimes, I think, and start to sink. Oh no. There's more. Sorry. Then I remember, it's October. October? I combined my two favorite months. Fall is really nice. It's the best. I'm assuming that's where we are in this game. I could say more to you? Days are gonna start getting shorter soon. Makes me sad. I like it. I love the fall, but I hate the dark. I like it. You sure do. Okay, I could probably talk to that person more, but I'm not super interested. So I'm just gonna jump, jump, jump my way up here. I think the jumping actually goes faster. I'm not entirely sure on that, but it might. All right, you know what? Let's see if there's anything new in the news. Why not? I haven't checked here in a few days. I don't know what time it is, or day, I suppose. So I don't know if this is accurate. The ball, it bounces, as we found out in one of the first episodes. What a fun time for a young 20-year-old cat person to play with a ball of yarn on a newsstand. Okay, so I kind of want to hang out with Greg today because I already got B once. I already hung out with B once. So I'm kind of interested to see if a Greg hangout goes anywhere. All right, that's where Angus works. I don't need to be there. Possibilities is closed. And that makes me very, very, very sad, even though I never saw it. Snack Falcon! What's up, Greg? Greg, get me in. What's up, broski? Get, turn around. Sometimes I flick the stick and it like turns May around. You know what I mean? It's a little annoying, but whatevs. Hey, hey, May May. Totally, what's up, dude? Was thinking about going to jail? Like you're planning on going? Like you're afraid of going? Planning. I think I could break out. Maybe I should like, test my skills of escape. I feel like the risk is bigger than any possible reward. Yeah. What brought this up? I had a nightmare about going to jail. My cousin went to jail. My other cousin, Jen, said it was inevitable. Oh, man, you're not inevitable. I mean, it's not inevitable. No, go back. I am definitely inevitable. The inevitable Greg. I'd watch that movie. Is Angus around today? No, he's off doing some stuff. What stuff? Eh, family stuff. They're not worth talking about. Yeesh. You want to hang out? 
Got a lot to do today. Yeah, man, let's roll. Damn straight. Let's, let's get in with Greg. Mechanics. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming these are like individual missions based on these characters and hanging out with these characters individually. The bullet went clean through. You still see the bullet hole in it. How did that not kill him? Must have missed all the important parts of the brain. I can't believe someone can live without their frontal lobe. Wow. Yeah, great great granddad was pretty tough. But isn't that the helmet the fascists were wearing? Oh no, wrong war and wrong country. These weren't the bad guys. Read some history. Jeez, okay. When did you learn all this stuff? When people kept saying it was a fascist hat. So what are we doing? You up for a crime? Boy, am I ever. Didn't we do enough crime in the last episode? I mean, I kind of did some last night. Yeah, yeah, you did. Oh, really? Without me? Aw, oh, dude. You're always my number one crime friend. That's beautiful, dude. Likewise. Well, B was there. So what's the plan? Follow me. Yes, dear leader. I am both a leader and a deer. Yeah, you're more of a fox, actually. I don't know about deer. I haven't seen any deer, I don't remember. Rain sure cleared up. Oh, God, we brought the bat. Whatever wet, mm, weather moves for us. So what do I need the bat for? Good question. Ta-da! Ooh la la! F that car up, Private Broski. So... You brought me out here to watch me beat up a car? Why? Do you need a reason? No, but I'd like one. Fair. So we need the battery out of this car? What for? That's privileged info, Private. Stop calling me Private. I'm a general at least. I ain't in your army. You've been drafted. It's like very unjust. The world ain't just, Private Borowski. Okay, but what if someone needs this car? I think it's safe to say no one's gonna miss it. Yeah, I guess it's got a tree growing through it. So we're just beating it until the hood pops open? Why aren't you helping? I'm carrying the battery all the way back. Division of labor. You get the fun part anyways. True. Yeah, just smash it up. Smash it all up. Smash capitalism. Smash the government. Smash this car. Yarg. Okay. Well, Greg, you got nothing else to say. So I guess I'm going to hop over this car and see if I can go this way. Nope. I don't know what button it is. I'm assuming it's just Y. Yeah, it's just Y. Punch, 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 punch. Yeah, destroy that fascist car. Uh, fascism is not capitalism, just by definition. Onward, revolution! Yarg! Your time has come, car! Yeah, okay. Say your prayers, car. Do whatever god cars pray to. Do we have to smash up the rest of this car, or can I just keep hitting the hood? Ghost, tiger, vampires rise from the moon. Blood, give me blood. The final blow. I don't know if we're a lo well, I think we're a long ways away from the final blow, considering I just keep hitting the hood of this car and no other parts of the car. Am I getting anywhere with this? I don't think so. I think I have to hit the other parts of the car. Yeah, there we go. There's some windows. There's some- Ooh! God, the screen flashes. I'm in mostly the dark, except for one light on my face. So that's not, like, the most fun for my eyes right now. Alright, are we, uh... Yeah, I did have to smash up the rest of the car. Excellent work! Thank you, I agree. Even though I hit the hood a million times. You wanna do the honors? Am I gonna get electrocuted? Mm, should be fine. Car's got a tree growing through it. Probably not electric anymore. You'd be surprised, Greg. You might be surprised. Wait, but... Do you wanna do it or not? I do. Come on, May. You gotta ask more questions about these things. Okay, so just grab one of the wires and yank it off. Thanks, I think I can figure it out. Gotta get rid of these leaves first. Uh, can I just push these things off? Yeah, I can more or less just shimmy shammy my way through that. Okay, um... Um, wait, hold, well, I, I, I tried grabbing that. Grab, pull, grab... Good lord, okay. Yarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
you'd remember to click me. Just say hello. Yeah, I'm an excellent friend. Sharkle, am I dead? Yes. No. Oh, that's good. I have things to do. You must go back. You were meant for great things. Really? Yes. Wow. Yes. Can you be any more specific? Nope. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it's definitely going to be Greg pretending to be Sharkle. <laughs> oh, shit. You okay? Uh, I think I died. How long was I out? Like five seconds. Oh, weird. Time like stretches. It's a mysterious universe. It sure is, Greg. We good to go with the battery? You know it. Let's get back to the apartment. I taste pennies. That's not good, May. That is not good whatsoever. <laughs> and anyway, even if it was a fascist helmet, it's got an anarchy symbol on it now, which makes it good. And there's a bullet hole in it, so whoever was wearing it is dead, and I'm like wearing the trophy. So you admit it's a fascist helmet? No, I don't. Okay, okay. So what are we doing? Okay, so. Wait. Question. Shoot. What the hell is that? The thing? Yeah, obviously the thing. I love the little head nod that May's given there. Remember those big, like, robot cartoon characters they used to have at the food donkey? I do. What is it, like a jungle gyms? Oh my god. Is that one of them? We gotta put one together? Dude, we totally are. This is amazing. Where the hell did you get it? You know Steve Scriggins? Yeah, I like that substitute teacher, the supply closet, the guy who gave little circles around people in the school parking lot. I'll go with this. Huh, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that dialogue option meant nothing. Dude, he was stuck in there over longest night break. The longest night break? Or longest night? Survive by eating glue and Spanish workbooks. Steve Scriggins gave you this? Yeah, that guy. He's horrible, man. But he's been hanging out at the food donkey since it's been shut down, and he dug it out for me. That is the first useful thing Steve has ever done. Okay, 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 what do we do? We need to get this old battery into that old thing. Okay, well, this sounds straightforward enough, but that's not how mechanics works. Kinda, it's full of garbage. It's too bad you didn't cut yourself on it and get a disease. It's too bad you didn't die on the way here. Oh, we're doing this again? This happened when I first met Greg. It's too bad the robot wasn't filled with angry snakes and they killed you. It's too bad the elevator didn't fall and squash you like a pancake. Oh, dude, no, that's a phobia. That's one that makes sense, at least. Eh, I mean, I guess. What were we doing again? We were hooking up the battery to the old animatronico. Ooh, this thing smells. That's just how old machines smell. No, like, I think something was living in here. Yikes. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you stop being so negative? Why don't you eat your own neck? That's impossible. Be serious. This is serious business. Oh, well. Well, don't mind me. See, I've already died once tonight. No big deal or anything. What was it like? I saw a shark, I think. I could taste my tooth fillings. It's like they're ringing. Ringing. Like little bells inside my skull. Wow. Yeah, why are we talking to each other using, like, the clippers? Okay, let's do it. Clip it! Uh, May? There you go. And is anything gonna happen? I just noticed that weird-looking frog thing in the back. Is that the head of this animatronic? Jeez, that looks safe. Are you gonna be all boring now just because you died for, like, a whole five seconds? Dude, come on. Some people have been dead for, like, forever. You see them warning? Um, right. They either shut up a deal, or they become ghosts. Are you saying I should become a ghost? Yeah, carpe diem. Carpe diem. Carpe diem sounds like a fish. A fish that tells you to live your damn life. Damn, Greg, hit at him. Okay, fine, what are we doing? Now is the best part. We're gonna put this beast together. Do you know how it goes together? Gonna find out. Cool. May. Sorry? Cool. A woo. 
Oh, I love Greg. He's so excited about things. Oh, I didn't know we were playing a mini game on it. Here are all the parts. Wow, so many possible combinations. We can create our own unique metal offspring. So we just clank these together? Yeah, slot them together, tighten some screws. What could go wrong? I mean, quite a lot. Lots of times stuff goes wrong. Dude, you are no fun. I literally just died. Yeah, we keep hanging on the died thing. All right, well, I think the head goes first, right? Can I, can I put the head on? How do I do this? Oh, it's Y, it's the Y button. I should have figured everything in this freaking game is the Y button. Head on the head, because I think that makes sense. This on the that, no. Can we put this on the that? Oh, it has to connect with the doohickeys, okay. Well, you're gonna have one shorter arm than the other, my friend. I am sorry. Oh, what is that little symbol in the corner? I don't think I didn't see that. Oh, I didn't know that was the dun? I didn't know that was the dun! I didn't know that was the dun. I didn't want that to be the dun. He's beautiful. He's perfect. Our beautiful boy, our robot son. So like, this is pretty great and all, but remind me, why did we just put a bunch of garbage together in your living room and connect it to a stolen car battery that's already leaking acid on the carpet? I think, I don't know. Since you've been back in town, I think I missed Greg of a few years ago. Hmm? Like these days I mostly work all the time, but why are you working so much? Oh, oh, I'm starting to get the story motifs. Okay. So this is, this is a story, at least as far as I can tell right now, this is a story of like unlocking memories from the youth or just memories in general of the past, Con reconnecting with old friends, reliving old times. And some people are more receptive to reliving old times than others. Let's say that. It's a metaphor about growing up or not growing up. We got plans. What plans? Bright Harbor. Bright Harbor? Since when? A year or so now? That's why we're working like seven days a week. But when are you moving? I think of the spring. That's like a few months away. Yeah. Oh, okay. You should come visit when we get settled in. Why Bright Harbor? Isn't Bright Harbor like really expensive? Not if you live in a terrible neighborhood. Oh man, it's so cool. We visit in the summer. There's like record stores and weird bars and everyone's cool and like free. Oh, that's where I got my tattoo. What? Yeah. Is that your tattoo of a sheep? Is that a sheep? Yep. Why a sheep? The tattoo guy was like all the way hot and it didn't even hurt. You have a tattoo. You're moving to Bright Harbor. Yeah. See, this is what happens when the world grows up and you're not there, May. Everyone had so many experiences without you. Everyone has changed without you. Oh, okay. All right, anyway. Yeah, like I was saying, now that you're back in Possum Springs, I was like, hey, let's do some crimes again. Oh, dude. Yep. So I was thinking about how to use that for like good. So I thought I'd bring this here for Angus. That's beautiful, dude. I'm sure he'll love it. I hope so. It's nasty, though. Okay, so. Yeah, what we need to do now is turn it on. I love how the music literally cut out for that whole conversation. Just sell the moment of it. That's awesome. Ooh, ooh. I want to push the button. Let me push the button. Let me do it. Dude, it's the least I could do for my best friend. Back from the dead. Pete's party next time I die can come back. I misspeak a lot. If you haven't noticed, if you've ever watched my channel before. Dude, that is such a deal. Sweet. All right, sick. Let's push the button. Turn it on. It's going to be the worst thing. Oh, God. This side smells even worse. Hope whatever was living here in this hole. Okay, I think I see it. Push, push, push it. Hey, I'm glad you and Angus have this whole, like, life together. Thanks, dude. We've worked hard. That's sweet. Push, push, push it. Okay, 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 Let's push these leaves out of the way. And button. But button. Do I gotta like click it really fast or? Oh, there, I gotta get electrocuted by it because of course I do. Pizza party, next time I die. I got electrocuted again because of course I did. 
Why wouldn't I be electrocuted by the animatronico? Okay, May is like dying in the corner. Hold on, I gotta save this. Videos cannot be captured for the software. Oh, at least let me get a screenshot. Yeah! Woo! It lives! May does not live though. What the? Oh, hey, it's Angus! What's up, my guy? I. Woo! Woo, woo, woo! Hey, Angus. How's it going, May? Good, I didn't die this time. You? Good, good. I'm just gonna lay here for a while if that's okay. I'm a little shell shocked. <laughs> okay. Man, Angus is just indifferent to that. I thought he'd have a little stronger of a reaction, but I guess it's Angus. All right, that is in our journal. I freaking died tonight. Greg rules, okay. Anything new in any other pages? I don't think so. I think they'll tell me. Well, that is gonna be it for this Night in the Woods episode. See you later.